whoa, once you get to Dubrovnik, you might be a bit confused. What to do? Are you going for a party, for a great dinner or for uh, the best city sightseeing ever? So maybe a bit of everything. I guess uh, Dubrovnik was one of the highlights for me. Um, doing the, when we arrived, we did the wall tour, walk around the city walls. Took about an hour. wasn't wasn't too bad of a walk. Um, plenty of places to stop off and have cocktails on the way. Jump off the walls if, you, if that's what you're into. Um, and then go out to the boat, freshen up, and then head into town for the night out. There's uh, have some dinner first at one of the partner restaurants, which we did, the Ragusa Two. And then we head down to the uh, partner bar, which was Sky Bar, and uh, yeah, free shots on arrival, obviously, and uh, yeah, it went well into the night. It was good fun. Uh, Dubrovnik, where, where we are at the moment, behind me is also very unique because a lot of uh, empires have come through Croatia. Uh, the, the, the Greeks have been here, the Romans have been here, the Venetians have been here, the Turks had a few pops of the country as well, so uh, uh, a lot of people have found Croatia very desirable. But Dubrovnik's uh, big, unique aspect, uh, or, or the unique thing about Dubrovnik is the fact that uh, it prides itself on having a big chunk of its history uh, as an independent city, a free port, a free trade area. And so they have a motto, Libertas, as liberty uh, from uh, all the other empires that have ruled other parts of Croatia. <laughs>